what's up friends welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel subscribe if you haven't already in this video I'm gonna talk about the conventional lifestyle and how it wasn't for me and it isn't for everybody and I will share my story and what decisions I made to choose a different path than everybody instead of living a passive life actually take action and hunt down my dreams to achieve them and you can too let's roll the intro Hey, Malaka! <laughs> Μιλάω ελληνικά, ε! Κύριε, ευχαριστώ σε όσους Έλληνες παρακολουθούν. Όσοι έχετε κάνει comment, μου δίνετε πίσω στο κίνδυνο να συνεχίσω και θέλω να βοηθήσω και άλλα άτομα πραγματικά να κυνηγήσουν αυτό που θέλουν και να κάνουν κάποιες αλλαγές. Να αποκτήσει νόημα ζωή τους και να μίζουν παθητικά και μίζερα. Ε, αυτό είναι το μήνυμα του βίντεο. Κάντε εγγραφή, αφήστε ένα comment, με βοηθάει πάρα πολύ. Κοινοποιήστε το βίντεο με τους φίλους σας, αν σας άρεσε. See you. What's up? Fucker! <laughs> so, if you haven't watched my recent videos, I talk about how I went from a really depressed everyday lifestyle choosing to buy a van after a lot of struggle and I can't wait to start converting it. But, the thing is that by buying that van I didn't solve any of my problems. I was still feeling depressed. Uh, and that's a general rule, you can't buy happiness or you can't buy yourself out of depression But what you can do is that you can take baby steps towards happiness Towards something that you will make you feel better And I want to explain you something by this See, the conventional lifestyle isn't for everybody Including myself You know that one where you get bored, you go to school, you go to university, you get a degree, you find a job and then you fell in love. Oh, fuck. Ugh. Anyways, yeah, you fell in love, you make a family, start making babies, and then you die. And for many people, that just isn't fulfilling, that just isn't enough. And I totally understand that. The thing is, it's up to you to actually change that. And if I want you to remember something from this video today, I want you to remember this. There is other ways around that conventional lifestyle. It's a choice, but you have to make it and it's really scary. It's scary, it's hard, and it takes time. See, see what I chose is I quit my studies because it wasn't for me. And you don't have to have a degree. Even Elon Musk says it. No need even to have a college degree at all. Uh, or even high school. I mean, if somebody graduated from a great university, that may be an indi that may be an indication that they will be capable of great things, but it's not necessarily the case. I graduated from college, and uh, this is the closest I've ever gotten to a college graduation. <laughs> what are the things within convention or society that have proven to be, in your opinion, wrong or incorrect? Let's say. I think. Almost everything we're taught at school mm -hmm. isn't correct. Other than probably just some of the basic stuff in, in, in certain subjects and, you know, factual stuff. But even then you start digging down deep and realise actually some of that stuff I learned wasn't even true. But I think for me, just some of the, the typical things about society that, you know, there's this framework which we live. And I was interesting, I was chatting to my mum the other day because I was like, thanks mum for like not, not, bringing me up thinking that's a certain way to live. And she said, yeah, like people always said to us as a family, oh, we live outside the box. And my mum said to me, what box? You know, I'm a high school dropout. I never went to college. I never went to school. And when I was younger, a gigantic insecurity of mine was my lack of education. And looking at someone that had an impact on this world as tremendous as Malcolm X, um, and realizing that he, he also didn't have an education. He just, he took it upon himself to educate himself. That's moving for me. And that's all without getting into the actual impact that he had on this world and what he did, which is, which is tremendous. But I identify with him personally because of that journey. You don't have to have a degree to be happy or successful in your life. It's up to you. If you are passionate about something and you find that passion and you work hard on it and you get better with your skills, you can be really successful in your life. But you have to take that risk. You see, usually happiness or success is on the other side of a risk. 
but you have to take it. God placed the best things in life on the other side of fear. I quit my job because it wasn't fulfilling me anymore. It was great. I mean, I was teaching and I was earning money by doing my hobby. Something I, I was, I love doing. But now I love something more than that. I love life and I want to grow more as a person. And also, for all this lifestyle to work for me, I had to move. Denmark wasn't for me. Because in Denmark it's cold and there's no mountains, so I'm not made for this place. I need to get away from here. And I also said this to Denmark. Because it wasn't for me. The people there wasn't for me, the nature wasn't for me, and the whole lifestyle wasn't for me. So I want you to do this for yourself. Take a pen and paper, sit down, write, write down what you actually do when you are the happiest. And when you feel that you are productive and passionate. Everybody have talents. Everybody have something that other people don't have. So think of what advice do you usually go give to your friends or what are you doing every single day to es escape from school, work or anything. Write that down and then think of a related job to that. Imagine a lifestyle around that and then see what you actually are doing today to achieve that. Because nothing, nothing in life will come by itself. You have to act to achieve things. You have to take risks and you have to do things that are un uncomfortable and you have to prioritize your time. To, to really achieve that, you have to take life like this and you have to squeeze it like the balls. You have to squeeze. Squeeze that life. Squeeze it. And you will succeed. Mm. Oh, I really made a mess. <laughs> Oops. So my plans for the future are to fly back to Denmark in July and drive my van through Europe to Greece and start converting, converting it. And I will, of course, share my journey with you. But until then, I want to continue making videos for you guys and for myself because I really enjoy making them. And in the meanwhile, I want to be posting videos that will help around subject, subjects that will help you achieve that Viking mentality. You know, <laughs> how to really find that balance physically and mentally and by that I mean I will I want to make videos lifestyle psychology advice and tips and hacks because I know it had a big impact on my life and I know it will have a big impact on your life too only need to be sharp up here you also have to take care of your vehicle your body to be happy and healthy so i want to make videos around training advice with your body body weight where you don't need a gym you only need my videos and your body cool and i will also make some vlogs sometimes from here to there of my adventures to inspire you to stand up get out of that couch you're sitting in right now and go out and enjoy life. Uh, actually, I'm flying to Faroe Islands next week. So stay tuned for a video there. I will be teaching some parkour and just enjoy life. Hmm. So see you in that video. Now, if you like this video, subscribe, leave a comment, share it, leave a thumbs up. It really helps me, it motivates me to keep going. And I guess, um, uh, that's it. Share your thoughts, design your life, and keep going. This is Jonathan, Viking Mentality, and I'm out. Peace. Okay.